Good morning. This is Lou Vanderwig, pastor of the Goodland United Methodist Church. Thank you for joining me in this Christian devotion for Wednesday, January the 14th, 2015, as part of the Good Neighbor Hour. Acts 2, verses 1 through 13 says, When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place, and suddenly from heaven there came a sound like the rush of a violent wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. Divided tongues as a fire appeared among them, and a tongue rested on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit, and began to speak in other languages, as the Spirit gave them ability. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven living in Jerusalem, and at this sound the crowd gathered and was bewildered, because each one heard them speaking in the native language of each. Amazed and astonished, they asked, Are not all of these who are speaking Galileans? And how is it that we hear, each of us, in our own native language? Parthians, Medes, Elamites, and residents of Mesopotamia, Judea, and Cappadocia, Pontus, and Asia, Persia, and Pamphylia, Egypt, and the parts of Libya belonging to Cyrene, and visitors from Rome, both Jews and proselytes, Cretans and Arabs, in our own language we hear them speaking about God's deeds of power. All were amazed and perplexed, saying to one another, What does this mean? But others sneered and said, They are filled with new wine. When the Holy Spirit came down on those gathered on the day of Pentecost, the end result was clarity about God's deeds of power. These deeds of power are about what God has done in the world through Jesus the Christ. They are the good news of the gospel. The Holy Spirit empowered those gathered to clearly hear and understand the good news, even though those telling it did not speak the same language. Having clarity about the good news is still important today, and it still comes to us through the power of the Holy Spirit. For some on the day of Pentecost, the message was not clear. Scripture tells us that they sneered and said they thought the message was a drunken rant. I don't know how to explain that, but I do know there are many people in today's world that are not clear about the way to salvation made possible by Jesus the Christ. Christians are commissioned by God to proclaim the good news. Sadly, we sometimes confuse it with things that give power to ourselves or to a particular denomination or church. The challenge I would offer you today is to prayerfully consider your understanding of the good news and how it has transformed your life. Also, consider how you proclaim the good news through the life you live. If you lack clarity about these things, ask God to pour out the Holy Spirit on your life that you can hear and understand God's mighty deeds through Jesus the Christ. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, pour out your Holy Spirit on our lives. Help us to hear and understand the good news of your mighty deeds through Jesus the Christ. With your help, may our lives be a clear and powerful proclamation of the transforming power of your love and grace in this world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. On behalf of the Goodland United Methodist Church, this is Pastor Lou Vanderwig wishing you a good day filled with the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ.